Good morning. Today, what I want to do, I thought I'd come out here live, and I haven't done this for a while, so it's every time you do something live, there's a learning curve. <laughs> and I'm a learning curve. Uh, but I, I really want to talk about some things. And one is this is going to the next level or taking your business or something in your life to the next level. So today, what I want to talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, is how to solve all your problems forever, all your problems. Uh, I'm going to share this again with you. It says solve all your money problems forever, but I'm going to talk about this because it's really more than that. Um, I, I, that book's by Victor Bach. It's a great book. It really is. I think what, what we all figure out um, is that sometimes, you know, we're our own worst enemy especially in doing a business, we, we kind of forget about where we're at and what we're doing and, and where we're supposed to be going with this thing. So we're, we're kind of becoming our own worst enemy. However, what he talks about is everything in life has an attractive force and a repellent force. Now, I want you to think about a, flying a kite. And I could never fly a kite very well. <laughs> it just didn't work very well. But when you fly a kite, right? The repellent force, what pushes it away was the wind. That's what pushes that away was the wind. What brings it to you was your kite string. So we, we all have that. We have a, a natural repellent force that's pushing things away. And we have some an attractive force that's bringing things in. So now I'm going to talk about mindset because that's all what this is all about. And very powerful, very because we have repellent force. Right, those negative thoughts that saying we can't do something. So if you're starting a business for the first time and you can't, you think, man, I can't do this. This thing really stinks. I, I just can't figure this one out. Um, you know, that's pushing all those thoughts away. It's pushing your success away, and they're very powerful because whatever we tell our mind, that, that's where it goes to. The attractive force is when you start telling your mind good things. See, our, our, our mind is, uh, and this amazes me, it really does. And I, I used to teach this in my classes, you know, a math teacher, where we talked about um, a lot of different things. So we have a conscious mind, right, that you work with every day, that you talk with every day, and then you have a subconscious mind. Well, your subconscious mind is extremely powerful, extremely powerful. And it's just amazing what you can do with it. So, you know, I want you to think about all the big inventions in the world. First airplane, first car, electricity. All these things were conceived in the mind before they actually came about. All those inventors, right? The, the first, first audio, whoever thought about doing audio, all that came in was by somebody thinking about it and creating it and trying to get in their mind. And their mind starts planting them your mind starts working on this and starts developing different ideas for you to work with. So I'm going to talk about something about business. That's what this is all about. Uh, when I first start, got started in business, I did okay. But I, I didn't hit the seven figures, eight figures, all those, you know, I, that just seemed to be out of my reach. And I didn't know why, because I, I was good with what I was doing. Uh, but I, I really believe what it is, see, I want to talk to you about this, is you have a fundamental right to success. You really do. You have a fundamental right to success and good fortune. And you got to expect it. So one of the ways, and, and don't let me lose you on this, that you can put things in place for things to happen to you is by working with affirmations. Now, the first time I heard about affirmations, it was in uh, The Secret. You know, I saw the movie first. I didn't read the book. I saw the movie, and it, it just gave me goosebumps. And to tell you the truth, and, and I don't know about your life, but in my life, there has been things my wife and I have thought about that has come true for us. And all we did was put everything in motion by thinking about it. All right, we live in Tennessee. We, we grew up in Wisconsin. I taught in Wisconsin forever. There was no way 
I can move to Tennessee while I was still teaching. It just didn't happen. You know, you can't, it's hard to, you know, I was getting to the age where they don't hire teachers. Um, well, when I put in my application down here, I had six schools call me. I mean, it, it was, it, it, we put it in place by saying we were going to live within 10 miles of our kids, 10 minutes of our kids. And guess what we did? It was really pretty cool. You know, we hadn't been by him for like 10 years and all of a sudden we're living right next to him. We probably drove him crazy, but anyway. So I want to talk to you about affirmations and how you can do them. And I want to get real serious about this. And I want you to get serious about this because it can happen. So before we get going, I want you to think about this and write it down. What do you want? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want lots of money? Do you want a boat? Do you want a brand new car? Do you want a new house? Do you want, what do you want? Write it down. See, now affirmations, for them to be, to work, they have to be specific. You have to write down an affirmation, say exactly what you want, and it has to be positive. You know, you can't say, let's say that you want $100,000 in your savings. Well, I hope to get $100,000 in my savings. That's not an affirmation. Or I want $100,000 in my savings. You have to say it like it is. I have $100,000 in my savings. Now, I'm going to tell you a little different thing to do this. Uh, and this is, again, it's coming from the book, and I thought it was really cool because it's, I so totally believe this. It's a, I want you to sit down and write down everything you want, right? And I want you to try to find three to 10 affirmations that you're going to talk about every day. And I write mine like this. I, Mark, make $100,000 in my business every year through coaching and courses. Now, I have three that I say. One is for my business. One is for my health. And one is for what my wife and I want. And it's I, Mark, have a 20-foot striker van. Eight-foot ceilings, full-size bed, canopy for outside and the front seat swivel it's specific i'm not asking i want it i have it because my wife and i want to travel and right now we're using the toyota sienna we want to use something a little bigger um so that's it i have three of them now what you want to do is you write your affirmation stone on a card on a sheet of paper and you put them by your bedside, serious. And you wake up. Now, if you're gonna wake your wife up, you gotta come out in the living room. That's what I do. <coughs> I come out in the living room and I get my affirmations and I read them out loud. Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to put them in my mind. So I visualize them, I mark. Make a hundred thousand dollars per year, and I see that in my business from my coaching and my courses because I do both. And I read that, I read the affirmations. Now, most people, uh, I concentrate on three to five. These are, I have three right now that I'm reading, I'm really specifically putting in my mind to start working on the business is huge because we, we want to build this business. And actually the hundred thousand dollars is probably small because I, I want a bigger one, but we're going to start there because just because now, so every morning you read those out loud. Okay. Now this is the next step. You get out a notepad and you write one affirmation down, 10 times, one affirmation. Now I'm going after my business because I'm creating something brand new. I'm going after my business. So I write that down. I mark, make $100,000 per year 
in my business from my coaching and my courses. And I write it down 10 times. Now you can pick five. 10 was a good number for me. Um, and I, I do that. Now, throughout the day, I also have my affirmations on a three by five card. <coughs> and throughout the day, I read them. And as I read them, I visualize them. Right? You're planting this in your mind. You're making your, having your mind go to work for you. And then, right before you go to bed, say them again. Right? And you got to say them. Say them out loud. And if your partner is sleeping or you're going to make some noise, then go somewhere else and say them and then go to bed. I mean, that's all it is. You want your subconscious mind to start seeing these affirmations. Now, will it work tomorrow? No. But what you're going to do, you're planting in your mind the attractive force, right? The attractive force is going to start pulling things to you. And you let your mind do it. it you know, you could, your affirmations could be health. It could be anything. But I want you to start today. First step is write down what do you want? Everything you can think of in business, in your life, in your health, relationships, <clears throat> all of that. Write it down. And then I want you to pick out the ones you know, three to 10, three to five, whatever you get. And I want you to start making affirmations. Be specific and positive and not wishing you have it, but that you already have it. I, your first name, and I go with I. I don't include my wife with me. These are my affirmations. I, Mark, make $100,000 per year in my business from my coaching and my courses. So write down your affirmations, read them first thing every day in the morning, pick out one and write it down 10 times. It's, it's powerful when you write, Not don't use your computer, use longhand print, whatever, but use your hand and then say them throughout the day. You know, you'll, you'll memorize them, but keep saying them and visualize, put it creatively in your mind and then say them again at night. Hey, let me know how this all works for you. You take care. Bye.